Penicillin, the best known antibiotic, was discovered in 1928 by Alexander Fleming. Thanks to this drug, far fewer people die of bacterial infections today than 100 years ago. The way antibiotics work is very simple. Once inside the body, they destroy the bacteria they encounter by carpet bombing them. After which, the immune system joins the fight and they work together to heal the body. Thanks to antibiotics mass produced since the 1940s, we are able to treat several diseases that were previously considered fatal. However, antibiotics are not selective, and they also destroy the beneficial bacteria present in our digestive system. So, they weaken significantly the intestinal flora. In such cases, it is worth taking probiotics alongside the medicine after four to six hours, as these contain bacteria helpful to the body and rebuild our natural gut flora. The spread of antibiotics also carries another unexpected, much greater danger, the formation of bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics and even multi-resistant bacteria that are near impossible to destroy. As people take more and more antibiotics, bacteria are becoming less and less sensitive to them. Drugs that were earlier effective against them are no longer so, and bacteria continue to replicate and grow stronger. Since bacteria multiply rapidly, resistant bacteria can develop very quickly and are almost insensitive to antibiotics. In Europe alone, more than 30,000 people die a year from drug-resistant infections. So finding a solution to the multi-resistance of bacteria is one of the biggest medical challenges we face today. Until then, maintaining the efficiency of antibiotics is the responsibility of all of us. The EU and the WHO have both developed strategies to reduce the spread of drug resistance, but we ourselves can do the most against it. The most important is to consult your GP before starting to take antibiotics. The antibiotic regimen is useless against viral infections, so don't expect your GP to prescribe this for a simple cold. However, once you start such a regimen, follow it through to the end even if symptoms have gone. A shortened treatment helps only the reproduction of more resistant bacteria and the development of drug resistance. That is also why you should not take any leftover antibiotics or ones that were given to someone else or for another type of infection. The increase in resistant bacteria could lead to mankind having to face indestructible superbacteria. If that happens, we would effectively return to the pre-antibiotic era and risk not only organ transplants or chemotherapy, but a simple wound infection could also prove deadly. But all may not be lost. It seems that a special gene engineering technique called CRISPR could provide a solution to multi-resistant bacteria. This technique is already being used in several scientific fields. Until then, be careful with antibiotics. Subscribe to our channel. Don't miss out on any new episodes.